Like, look at this email, guys. It's from Jeffrey Dan Woods. Do you guys see that? I'm back by Jeffrey Dan Woods. I hacked your computer. It begins now i had a lot of fun meeting you guys but i just got home guys i got my suitcase my backpack my dad was telling me in the car that uh apparently a couple packages arrived at my house and i told him i didn't really order anything so we're about to check it out guys he placed all the packages on my bed so i don't know what to expect guys because i really i actually didn't order anything like i'm not trolling you guys right now i'm not just saying that for the video i literally did not order anything so that's why i'm so confused he said I put everything on your bed. It's only a couple packages, so I don't really know what to expect. So... That is way more packages than I expected. It's a basic wallet. Just a black wallet for $400? Another hoodie? I remember looking at this and it was mad expensive. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see that? This hoodie right here. I already know it. These are shoes. These are, these are Yeezys. I remember looking at these, but they were way too expensive for me. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I opened up the packages from the hacker himself that I had to pay for when I got back from the Mayan Fair trip. I'm so scared and I don't know what to do. Like, I know I look like I'm calm, but I'm shaking on the inside. I can barely hold up this camera right now. I just got another email from the hacker, Jeffrey Dan Woods. I'm gonna read it to you guys in just a second, but one of these steps says, do not tell anyone about this. And I don't know what to do, guys. Like. Legit, I lost like $4,000 already in all the packages the hacker made me buy. And like the last message, I know I can't return any of these items, which sucks. Guys, do you see this jacket? I got this for myself for Christmas. Like, I know this, you know, this is just Nike and it doesn't cost that much, but I literally bought so much clothes for myself. Like, I got new shoes, I got new pants, I got, I got a new Apple Watch, guys, and... I'm over here wasting so much more money. Like I have all these open packages right there worth $4,000 probably. I don't know guys, but like look, I even got this new phone when I took my brother shopping. I am like freaking out. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this to you guys. All right, so it's already nighttime. It's five, it's currently 5.46 right now and he sent this email to us. Um, like legit like 20 minutes ago so let's see what it says take a look guys so it says my last gift that's the title of this email and it says i have one last gift for you for now check your front door and this is what i'm talking about step number one do not tell anyone about this so i'm really nervous like because i'm telling you guys technically through video doesn't that mean i'm telling you guys about this 2.5 million of you guys <sighs> Okay, you know what guys, I'm just gonna check my front door real quickly and see what's up because I don't know what to do right now. Like legit, I am scared for my life. Wait, what was that? Did you guys hear that? Someone just knocked on the door. I don't know if, I don't know if I should open the door or not. Like I don't see anyone outside. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Guys, look. No one is outside. Except this package right here. This package is huge. I don't know. Guys, do you guys see this? This package is humongous. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Like, what if there's actually a person inside? Oh, this thing is heavy. I have this huge box in my room now, so now what? I sure hope that there's no human inside of here, but before we open this, let's see what the hacker has to say. I didn't read the other steps yet. It says, number two, this is a gift in return for hacking your computer. 
Okay, so let's see what it says. So just so you guys know I'm not lying to you, I'm gonna let it focus on the message. It says, number two, this is a gift in return for hacking your computer. My computer is still on right now. So it says, you have nothing to worry about. This is straight from Amazon using your credit card. Are you kidding me? Not again. Guys, I already lost so much money. If you try to return the item sent to you, I will know and you will suffer the consequences. Best, Jeff. I'm not lying, guys. Look, this is, this is real. Like, this is actually real life right now, and I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what's inside of this box, but it's huge. And what is, look, look at this, guys. Cyber power piece. Are you kidding me? There is no way the hacker actually spent my money on a new computer. My computer is fine. What, what? I have to check my Amazon account, guys. What is going on? What is actually happening? So you guys saw the email from Jeffrey Dan Woods already. I'm gonna log on to my Amazon account right now and see when this was ordered. Like, I haven't checked my Amazon account in a while. The hacker made me spend $1,999 on this computer. I'm so done. What? And I can't return this thing. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's in here. I'm just, I'm kind of glad it wasn't a human, but what the heck? This computer is way smaller than I expected after seeing the box and finding out that there was a PC inside of it. Guys, I don't know what to expect when I turn this thing on. I'm just hoping that it's a brand new computer and nothing to worry about because I can't return this thing now but if anything else happens I'm calling the cops for sure I'm just letting it off the hook right now because I don't want anything to happen uh, technically I already broke the rules by telling you guys but I have to set this computer up and see what's on it I'm gonna make sure to record my reaction and so you guys can see everything along the way all right guys, I'm in the middle of setting up the computer right now. I haven't noticed anything suspicious just yet. As you guys can see, everything's being set up. The computer's down here. I basically got rid of my old computer because it got hacked. And uh, you might notice that I'm wearing a hat and that's because I, I feel like I need a haircut. So I gotta get a haircut soon uh, because if you guys take a look at my hair, very messy. And you might be noticing that I am wearing the hoodie that the hacker bought for me. Well, you see guys, he bought it off my credit card, so it'd be a waste not to wear the hoodie. So just letting you guys know, if you guys were wondering, you know, don't you hate the hacker? Why are you wearing the hoodie he bought you? Technically, I bought it myself. Like, he bought it off my account. So I know it sucks, but gotta make do with what I got. But if I notice anything suspicious on the setup, you know, or anything on the computer, I will let you guys know soon. But the colors on the PC look really nice, even though he made me spend like $2,000 on it. For some reason, this PC doesn't recognize the center monitor, which is so weird. So I got to figure that out. I just woke up. I thought about it and I'm over it. There's nothing I can do about the items that the hacker bought for me, including the PC. And I have school today which just ruins the mood even more. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think about everything that's going on in my life right now. It sucks, but I'm about to head to the gym before I head to class. I've been wanting to get a new basketball for like three years, so I finally pulled the trigger, and when I got the new basketball, I was like, you know what? I've been kind of beating up my basketball shoes, so I'm gonna get a new pair. I got these shoes right here, but at this moment in time, I'm kind of regretting all my purchases because the hacker made me spend way more money than I thought I would. Like, this is only $100. I mean, it's kind of expensive for shoes, but after the hacker spent like two, no, like $4,000 on my account, I really don't know what to do, guys. I've told my parents about this, and they're like, please just, you know, try to end this as soon as possible because it's not healthy. I honestly hope that you guys are praying for me in the comments down below and just keeping me in your thoughts and prayers because I really don't know what to do, guys. <laughs>
finally got my hair cut. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you guys so much for the amazing support. I honestly appreciate every single one of you guys that commented on my last video and left the like. You know, it really means a lot to me. So anyways guys, thank you guys so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.